majority of psychopaths will probably never kill anyone, and they don't even necessarily have to be particularly violent. Dr. Hare says there are plenty of what he calls white-collar psychopaths out there, people who use manipulation, deceit, and charm to pull off non-violent crimes like fraud and embezzlement. So, if a psychopath isn't just another term for a crazed serial killer, what exactly does it mean? That's a question Dr. Hare has focused on for much of his career. Starting in the late 70s, he and his colleagues set out to develop a precise definition of psychopathy. They gathered up clinical cases and boiled them down until they had a list of 20 essential psychopathic traits. Some traits describe deviant behavior. For example, pathological lying, irresponsibility, and behavioral problems as a kid. Other traits describe a particular emotional profile. Things like shallow feelings, a lack of guilt or remorse, sexual promiscuity, and superficial charm. Now, while none of these traits on its own defines a psychopath, taken together they do. 